Hello, I'm Michael Pitts, Director of Photography of A Plastic Ocean. Plastic pollution is one of the most globally pressing environmental challenges of our time, and now it's in the news nearly every day. So we are learning more about plastic and how it's entering our oceans. It's a complex subject with no easy answers, but doing nothing is not an option. And all of us have a role to play. We have to change our attitude towards plastic, we have to use less, we have to recycle more, and look to other materials to replace it. Governments and industry also have a huge responsibility to implement change, to set regulations, and enforce rules to achieve reductions in the mountains of plastic waste that are generated around the world each day. On my assignments, I have been to some of the world's most remote locations and have seen at first hand the devastating effects plastic waste is having on our marine environment. My epiphany with plastic was over 20 years ago on Midway Atoll in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is where I first saw the effect plastic was having on our world. Midway is a tiny dot in a vast ocean, just six kilometers square with a fringing coral reef and within its lagoon, three tiny islands. I was on a week's assignment to film the huge laysan and black-footed albatross colonies. As in any seabird colony, you expect to see abandoned eggs and dead chicks. It's all part of Darwinian natural selection. But what I didn't expect to find was severely malnourished, near-adult albatross that had no hope of surviving. What was even more shocking was to see bleached bones with plastic bottle caps, cigarette lighters, and even plastic toys spilling out of them, and to realize that this waste caused their death. As director of photography, the film took me to many countries, Australia, to Lord Howe Island, and Tasmania to film shearwaters, to Sri Lanka to film pygmy blue whales, on to France and Italy to film a submersible searching for plastic on the seabed of the Mediterranean, to Fiji and through its islands to look at what impact plastic is having on a male hormone imbalance, and to Tuvalu to see an island literally drowning in plastic, and of course Midway to film the catastrophic effects of plastics on seabirds. What struck me most on those journeys was that no matter how remote, plastic was on every shore and in every sea. And in the sea, plastics don't conveniently evaporate or disappear. They break down, or more correctly, they break up into microscopic particles. These particles are ingested by marine invertebrates, fish, mammals, seabirds, and then us. I wish I could take you to an albatross colony to show you what's happening. Sadly, I can't. But what I can do is share it with you through this film. You will then be inspired to make the changes in your lives and persuade others to join you as we aim to create a better future for our natural world and generations to come.